Hi, my name's Ken, I'm the training manager at Solomon Under Pumps, and welcome to a little video on some of the top tips on how to reduce the noise of shower pumps. First off, it's important to understand that not all shower pumps are silent. Every pump does make a noise. Now, you've got water moving at high speed and being thrust out of the pump. Therefore, they are going to make some noise. Now, we've got two styles of pump. We've got our CT50 Extra, which is a regenerative pump, and we have an RP50PT, which is a centrifugal pump. What I'll do for you is I'll walk you through some of the differences between a, a regenerative pump and a centrifugal pump. So the first pump we'll take a look at is our CT50 Extra, which is one of our regenerative pumps. Now, the way in which these work is water comes in through the inlet of the pump, and at the same time, this impeller is spinning 2,800 times a minute, which whips the water around and out the top of the pump. Now, part of its process is there's a little stripping block in here which takes that water off the impeller, which allows it and directs it out the top of the pump. Now, by doing that, it does give it a slightly different noise to some of our centrifugal pumps. Over the last few years, we've worked quite, quite tirelessly in, in trying to make our pumps as quiet as possible. Now, one of the, the introductions that we, we brought into this was this material here, which is a specialized plastic that directs all the vibration straight down onto this little point here. We have some feet which, which clip onto these. These noise reducing feet really do help in, in lower the noise of our pumps. The second pump we look at is our RP50PT, which is one of our centrifugal pumps. Now, centrifugal pumps work differently as to how a regenerative pump works. What happens with these is on this time, the, the water goes into the end of the pump and it actually fills up this impeller. Now, this impeller spins and throws the water outwards. That creates a higher pressure inside the overall chamber, which forces water out the top of the pump. Now, because that water is being spun from the impeller, there's no physical action of stripping it. So that tends to make the pumps a lot more quiet. So now that we've, we've looked through some of the, the differences between the two pumps, some of the technology that we've introduced into these pumps has allowed us over the last few years to gain quiet mark on, on the vast majority of our pumps now. Now that we've talked about all of it, there's some extra bits and pieces that you guys can do to keep the pumps as, as quiet as possible when they've been installed. Now, the first thing I would mention is that we make a pump mat. Now, the pump mat simply sits underneath the pump. So, as any noise is transferred down onto the floorboards, this minimizes any, any vibration that you're gonna hear through, through those floorboards. Now, some of the other bits and pieces is one, make sure your feet are fitted. We've already looked at those a little bit, but every pump comes with feet, so make sure they're fitted because they're going to further dampen any vibration down that's going to go straight onto those floorboards. Some of the other bits and pieces, one, hoses. Make sure you keep these hoses straight on the pump. Now, they do have some flex in them, but we, we suggest they're not bent any more than 35 degrees. So, so keep them straight and don't have any excess strain on them. When these go onto the pipework, make sure your pipework is clipped. The more secure that pipework is, the less chance of any vibration transferring from these hoses into your pipe work. The other thing you can do is you can fit a salamander flange. Now, the bulk of our pumps do need to have a flange fitted anyway. Some of them, you may say it's an advisory, but having a flange fitted will minimize any air that's drawn through into the pump. And air does tend to make the pump noisy. So if you can limit that air that goes into that pump, you're gonna have a quieter installation. Thanks for watching, and don't forget you can visit us at salamanderpumps.co.uk or you can tweet myself at Salamandica.